You are okay people. We just saw just come out of the bathroom and go up on TikTok. First thing I go up on TikTok, I see be a soldier and one of all youth there in the back of the soldier truck and like a dog mother. So I see a soldier boy you now raise a, 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 a 16 or 5 woman now like he want to try to lick down your mother with a 16 and he I see dog jump out and I try to protect him mother the same way and soldier boy rats up the dog with the gun and rats up the dog with the gun. I say no nah, man. You want to beat the woman or you want to beat the woman? Pitney. Bad boy and the owners. Me. You know where I live? I live a west bad bum place. Me live. And me a me a chopper. I tell you that. I want to see you. Send your police and you come for me. Don't have a go suck your Fuck you go on like you know, body a damn thing I want to set for you get a youth. Them a kill and want to kill off you get a youth, them man. Me say, if you have a son of me, buck him up. No way. You go hear about it. Wagwan people. Welcome back to another Yardi TV news headlines. So people, a man accused of stealing died after he was attacked by a Mandelver mob. The deceased man is this brother up on your screen, Chef Ten Campbell of Victoria Town Address in South Manchester. According to police reports, at approximately 2 p.m., officers were on foot patrol along Manchester Road when they came upon a crowd that converged around a man. The man, who the police say appeared to have a bloody nose, was being accused of stealing money from another man some time ago. So I will be playing a 30 seconds long audio of the incident that led to the death of this man. And yes, there's a viral video going around town which shows this gentleman on the ground in handcuff crying out for pain. But due to the fact that residents of that very same community came out in protest stating that this man here was wrongfully accused. In respect to his family, I will not be showing the video on YouTube. But for those of you who are still interested in seeing the video, a link will be left in the description where you can join the Telegram group to see it. <laughs> Police and foot patrol in the town of Mandeville came upon a crowd of persons converged around a man that was on the ground. The crowd accused the man of stealing and the police realized that he had blood around the area of his nostrils. He was taken to custody by the account of the crowd. He was taken to the Mandeville Regional Hospital where he died whilst being treated. So the police has commenced investigations into the circumstances surrounding the death of, of, of this man and we are asking persons who might have information who might have seen what occurred to come forward and speak to the police uh, we would like the assistance of the public in this matter is a member of the school board and he is a decent citizen from that man born until now i don't know that man is no criminal he's a decent citizen and he's a just buried his mother about a month ago. And he's all sudden to all them beat him and kill him. Mr. Campbell don't deserve that dead. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Audrey Pinnock. My name is Myrna Brooks Hudson. And I'm a part of the Patriots. And as I'm speaking, it's no justice to be The way they killed Chief Tin. 
Until we get justice, and we see us about that. That hurt, hurt me too. Come, my brother, I'm crying, sister, I'm crying, cause we see you. We want justice. 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 If we don't get justice, we come into Mandeville. Yeah, we want justice, we want to have done. We want justice, we want justice, we want justice. So the next thing we are going out of the street now, peeps. A man was reportedly shot and killed, while two others are nursing gunshot wounds following a shooting incident in Pitfall St. James on Friday night. The police have identified the deceased man as 29-year-old Dominique Hay, otherwise called Futa, of Capturland in Pit 4. A 34-year-old man and a 32-year-old man were injured by unknown assailants during the shooting. It is alleged that the incidents are stemmed from internal gang feud that has been brewing in the St. James residential community. This feud has reportedly seen many members of the gang being targeted by their cronies in the last two weeks. So word on the street is that another person died from this shooting. So that would mean two people have died from this incident thus far. So we gone to the parish of St. Elizabeth where a 15 year old boy is now in custody in connection with the theft of eight goats. The goats were stolen in Montpelier, Manchester on Thursday night. The thieves attempted to sell the animals to a vendor in St. Elizabeth. The vendor invited the owner of the goats to go with him to buy the animals. While there, the farmer realized it was his stolen goats. A report was made to the Santa Cruz police. When the police arrived, the teenager and three other men ran, but the boy was caught. So we gone in at the parish of St. Thomas. Where this brother up on your screen, birth name Ricardo Crossley, otherwise known as Doppy Judge, was shot and killed in the Seaford St. Thomas area. Residents of the community are now seeking the police and the soldiers' assistance in this matter. So, walk with me again now, people. We gone to the parish of St. Mary, where a taxi operator who was found shot to death on the Golden Valley Main Road in Castleton, St. Mary on Thursday night has been identified as 31-year-old Kedan Nugent. Residents stated that they heard explosions about 8.30 p.m. They later found Mr. Nugent slumped over his steering wheel. Residents stated that they are tired of the killing in the community as they lamented that St. Mary has been such a quiet place. In January, a 25-year-old chef was killed in Castleton following an argument reportedly concerning a parking lot. So the next thing we are going out there now peeps. An accident took place by the Coral Garden stoplight last night at about 10.30 pm right across from the police station. Nobody got hurt in this incident but take a look, take a listen. Yo. So I'm going to play another clippings of a small accident that occurred 
in the vicinity of Fairfield in Montego Bay. So take a look, take a listen. Sorry, So what really happened? Yo, me just, me just, just spray man, I never cool day now and I die, so I'm just scratch cat for me. Oh Anybody need me assistance to carry anybody to the hospital? No, you need Good? What really happened? What happened though? So we're still within the parish of St. James, where this brother up on your screen, his name is Dino Scott, and he was shot and killed a few nights ago by unknown assailants at Spring Garden in the same parish. Residents of that community are now pleading that they need security forces within the area. So before I leave, I'm gonna leave you guys with the audio clippings of gunshot that's been fired in the Gregory Park area where this brother up on your screen, known as Baila, was fatally shot and killed. So take a look, take a listen. But before you do that, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at yardy.tv that official that's yardy.tv that official follow me on twitter at yardy tv official and i will leave a link in the description where you can join my telegram group so people big up on yourself until next time i'm your boy yardy from yardy tv i'm out